guys, we made it to Swan Falls. Of course, it's uh, down here in this canyon. We we'll literally drive right down the side of the canyon wall and to the dam down there. I don't know if you can see it. So, yeah, it's pretty. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump from my house. I know some of you guys uh, have commented in the past that I was, I'm very lucky to have what I have for a riding area. Some of you guys have to ride or drive or transport your bikes, you know, many miles to go get a riding area. I get it, man, it sucks. And I guess that's another reason why you're seeing dual sports getting uh, more popular. It's because some of us don't want to transport or don't have a way of transporting. And it's easier just to uh, hop on the bike and go. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that's what we could uh, talk about today is, uh, what do you think? I mean, dedicated dirt bike and trailering it? get a little carry-all or whatever for your car or your truck and uh, just drag your motorcycle to wherever it is you're gonna ride. Yeah, I totally understand, you know, if you're living like downtown Los Angeles and you got a, a ways to go to get to uh, some uh, riding area, or if you live in an area where you're not allowed to ride on some of those mountains or roads because it's all private or whatever, A friend of mine, he, uh, he's got a dirt bike and he lives over in Nebraska. He was telling me where he lives, uh, there's really no uh, riding area. Yeah, that sucks. You know, I even looked it up for like some sort of trail system. And there's hardly anything over there that's listed. And I know that a lot of people that live there might be like, oh, there's, there's lots of riding area or whatever. But you know, when you're new to an area, sometimes people, one, don't want to share it. Or two, you just don't know the right people to uh, find out. So uh, I guess uh, today depends on how uh, Ed's bike's going to fare as to whether or not we're gonna go across this uh, dam. I think survey says yes, we're going. So this is totally legal. You are allowed to push your bike across. They ask that you don't ride. Yeah, right there, right through there. They just added a gate. Yeah, they were having uh, hooligans come down here at night, and they had to put in a gate system. It's ice down there, but the water was leaking through. It's so uh, so cold in the mornings. track. It's kind of like a single track over here. It used to be a road probably one time long ago. Uh, you get people walking up and down it for fishing, riding pedal bikes, riding dirt bikes, so it kind of turned into a single track. Oh, oh, it
catch the uh I hit that. Ooh. Wow. That no. looks like son of a bitch. I was wondering, I thought you just caught the dirt. Yeah, I wonder if I just didn't get that on. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, that got. Can you bend it with your fingers? Here. Here. I'm gonna go clear some brush away real quick for the next guy. Hopefully that helps the next guy riding. The rad looks bent too. Holy cow. Okay, it did go. No, I think. Holy shit, I'm having all kinds of fun, ain't I? Yeah. It's an adventure. You're riding kind of like uh, Norris does. I think. Yeah. Got her? Yeah, in, in. That time. So you got a wiring and a bike to straighten out now this winter. Holy cow. Well, when I saw that, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, it's one of those two lates and just kind of lean for it. I think I kind of panic. Yeah. And when you panic, you don't do good decisions. Well, I'm surprised you didn't rip off your uh, your peg. Did it leave some metal down low on it? Oh, yeah, there was aluminum and all sorts of stuff on uh, it. Luckily, I I, I think I, I don't know. Did you have, how close were you? I just was far enough back. I thought you caught the edge of the bank and just, it looked like you tipped over. Yeah. I'll have to look at the video. Yeah, hopefully it shows something in the video. Hey, there's a big old piece of concrete in the trail. Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was there, but I didn't know where. Well, today is certainly uh, turning out to be one of those types of days that you just don't want to have on the trail. Thankfully, we're close to home, so it's not uh, too terrible, but still, nobody wants to run into a concrete, I don't know what you call them, jersey barriers, I call them K-rails. Nobody wants to hit that with a bike. by Murphy or if you come in you come in from Murphy and uh, you come down the, the road over here on our left I don't know if you can see it in the camera it uh, kind of just skirts right up the edge of that trail looks like they've had something in here yeah that trail right there we're gonna go to the right it's weird to see corn husk way over here
atmosphere has been traveled a lot more since the last time I was out here, which I can't remember. I think it's I think it's been about five years since I've been over on this side of the uh, the Snake River. All right, so uh, we took a little bit of a break there and went and uh, hiked out here in the field and found some petroglyphs from the Native Americans, the Indians from way back in the day. So I found some like Easter egg looking things with like a rocket booster. Not sure how, uh, how old those are, but took pictures with the phone, so Let's see. Uh, post them up here in the video for you guys it's just always cool to find stuff like that sometimes you know not only just the long ride on the trails to actually go somewhere and see something what a beautiful view today the weather is actually uh, quite nice not too hot not too cold I thought that was a rock. Just the tumbleweeds, man. I could, uh, I could do without the tumbleweeds. I see it. Yeah. It's a pretty big cave, and they dug it out and found a lot of cool stuff in there. I don't know if you guys will see it, but I'll, uh, I'll see if I can do some fancy editing work. So I guess that's where uh, the Indians would stay or something like that. talking about uh, this uh, area used to be an orchard way back in the day. Something like West, West Orchard or West Farms or something like that. There's the trail right there. Yep, there it is right there. Soft. on my visor see where the trail is plus the rocks
pretty as all get out. Was it uh I did a video a while back and Somebody said I made a, uh, a good sling blade. Anyway, he said uh, I made a, uh, a good sling blade impersonation or something like that. And at the time I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. So I had to look up sling blade. I was like, oh, okay. And I watched a couple videos on on sling blade, you know, the impersonations and stuff. And I totally got it, even though I didn't know I was making that impersonation. And then uh, that night, my wife gets home and she's like, I got a movie for us to watch. I said, oh yeah, what's that? She goes, sling blade. So I don't know if, uh, Adrian, if you're talking to my wife <laughs> and you told her to bring that movie home or something, <laughs> it just seems like coincidence. I mean, it was all within the same day that that happened. When I watched Sling Blade for the first time and, uh, what a good movie. What a great movie that was. And, uh, if you haven't seen Sling Blade, I encourage you to, uh, to go watch that movie. So guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up right there for today and say thank you so much for joining me on this uh, this little adventure of mine. I'm Robert with the Piston Slap Channel. Take care. We'll catch you on the next one.